Oh my gosh, I'm late for worship. I'm gonna be late. Wait, Pastor Paul, stop. Wait, don't you remember? I have no time, man. I have no time. Pastor Paul, wait, just stop. Wait, wait. I'm late for worship. Well, I know that some churches have uh, been on a decline for attendance these past couple of years, but this is ridiculous. There's nobody here. Pa- Pastor Paul, don't you remember? We canceled worship for the next two weeks, you know, because of the coronavirus. That's right, we did. That's right, we did. Well, now what? I mean, I'm a, I'm a pastor. What am I supposed to do when there's not people in the sanctuary or here at church? You know, I've been so stressed and nervous and confused since this whole thing has come up. Now, my family says I'm confused almost every day, but that's not the point, Adam. You know, Pastor Paul, I know what you mean, but is there any God news for us, for our members, our families, our friends? As a matter of fact, there is. Come sit with me. So let me just say a few words in lieu of our worship service today. First of all, Trinity members and friends, do not fear and do not worry. I know fear and worry are natural responses to anything that comes to us in a crisis or mystery, but we have a Lord and a Savior who is much bigger and more powerful than any problem that we have. God knows our fears and worries. He knows what we go through. He gave us our emotions, but God has also put in scripture 149 times the phrases of do not fear or do not be afraid. Because I think God knows that we need that reassurance and that reminder uh, almost daily, daily. And we need to remember a word that we talked about at Christmas time, and that's the word Emmanuel. God is Emmanuel. He came to us in the form of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uh, to show us the way, uh, to love us and teach us of his kingdom. And even now, his resurrection power is with us. He leads us. I know that God walks with us through the darkness of this world crisis. And I know that there will be the other side, and we just need to be patient. In our Wednesday worship services, uh, our theme was supposed to be a continuation of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, from Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Most specifically today, the fruit of self-control. And I think that uh, this is especially relevant uh, today when we uh, deal with our world crisis. Now, self-control refers to the ability to control one's emotions and one's behavior. And uh, we can't help when crisis comes to us based on circumstances but we certainly can, with faith, control the way we respond, the way we control ourselves uh, during crisis. We can, through the help of prayer and worship, uh, direct our thoughts to a better place. For example, prayer. The Bible says to pray continually. And uh, when we pray, we know that our Lord Jesus Christ hears our prayers and answers them. And uh, every morning, we ought to uh, pray to our Heavenly Father as as a proactive way of entering into our day. We should pray even before we turn on the news or before we read the newspaper or step outside the door. And as we pray, we prepare ourselves to be self-controlled throughout the rest of the day. The Bible also implores us to worship. We need to worship. And you might ask, well, how can we worship when the church has suspended church services? Well, communal worship is only one way uh, for us to worship. We can worship at home. Whenever we uh, are by ourselves or we gather with our family or our children and we praise God and we thank God and we adore God and when we are are praying and uh, holding hands and sharing, we are worshiping the Lord. So that's something we can do as well to deepen and to nurture that seed of the fruit of the Spirit of self-control. So my friends, it's only by the grace of Jesus that we are saved, and it is the same grace that sustains us today and in the days ahead. And so I'll end with reading uh, a word from the Apostle Paul as he tells us what to think about in times of suffering or crisis, and that's from Philippians chapter 4. 
Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. So do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right and whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if there is excellence, anything praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. So God bless until we post another video.